isn't that a great change isn't that a great trend and let's ride on that ride that that wave right with as a world and especially india as a country we have so far focused on food security mm -hmm. and we have achieved a lot out of that right having reached that stage a very hard earned stage of food security this is our next step in development mm -hmm. and uh, nutrition remains a persistent challenge despite of india becoming one of the largest producers of food in the world and therefore this is the time to tackle that so i'm really really glad that the world has now uh, sort of shifting its attention towards nutrition because that was really really needed there are a large number of things that nutrition challenge brings it's not just about hungry kids going to uh, going to bed right hungry it's 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 beyond that you know there are there are a large number of economic impact because of nutrition or malnutrition right the about 40% of india's school uh, absence in rural areas it uh, is attributed only to one factor which is malnutrition you know there is a there is a large number of about 30% of the um, uh, the 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 lack of uh, presence in the labor force for example especially in rural areas people not being able to come to work people not being able to go to their farms and all that and it's implications on the economy is all attributed to nutrition so this is a persistent challenge it has its uh, uh, disadvantages beyond just social and health disadvantages it has huge trade and economic uh, implications to it also and therefore i'm really glad if we as a country are are setting a trend in thinking about nutrition it's high time we start thinking about it so it's very interesting agriculture and nutrition basically are system of production of food and the system of consumption of food these are the two very very linked things together a very large population in our country because of rural economy because of about 48% of our people become being uh, totally dependent on agriculture there is the the there is a huge tendency of what we call it as locally grown locally sourced food so essentially a large number of people end up eating what they have been growing right or what their neighbors have been growing or what is available in their neighboring areas and therefore food and agriculture and therefore agriculture and nutrition are extremely linked together and there you know and and uh, of course there are a large number of factor that plays an important role in uh, in malnutrition but agriculture or fundamentally our food uh, production system is one of the largest some examples of that for example we are predominantly a rice wheat growing economy right um, and uh, cl close to about 58% of india's diet come only from two crops that is rice and wheat we know that large consumption of rice and wheat large uh, distribution of rice and wheat has of course had a huge contribution to uh, to addressing the food security challenge but not on the nutrition challenge right and therefore diversification in the food system where along with rice wheat you bring in millets for example you know not just in eating but also in production system along with rice wheat you bring in say for example vegetables you know this has created a huge impact on nutrition right and very interestingly this is also not just impacting the malnutrition or the household consumption of food it is also impacting the farmers income because diversification in diet is not only good for the diet diversification in farming system is also very important for to farmers income and therefore it kind of you know the same stone uh, tries and hit two birds i mean first of all i really would like to celebrate what mm -hmm. outlook has visioned mm -hmm. uh, right i think uh, you know as you said we have been talking about nutrition there are a very large number of people institution in this country national state level individually who have been doing fantastic work on nutrition 
how do we run a common thread across all this? How do we bring these things to prominence, not just to encourage those institutes, but I, according to me, more importantly, to sort of scale this further, to be able to uh, uh, other people to learn from that. And therefore, I think this is a fantastic initiative. I believe this is the first nutrition award of its kind and uh, congratulations really on visualizing this because this is something that is going to be very important in uh, in uh, as as india talks about its uh, its next step in development which is beyond uh, getting enough food it is about quality of food so congratulations on that